Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on forming a frequency table from discrete data. So we've got this question here. The number of children in a number of families is recorded as follows. So the first family has one child, the second family has two children, the next family has two children, the next family has three, etc. And we want to form a frequency table from this data. Now all we need to do is put the different number of children in each family in the first column. And in the second column, we're going to always have frequency. And frequency just means how common each value is. So how many different numbers of children could we have in each family? Well, some families have zero children. Then we could have one child or two children or three children. And there's also a four there, isn't there? There's no families with five children in this particular list. And then the frequency is going to say how common that number of children is. So how many of these families have zero children? How common is that value of zero? What's the frequency? Well, we can see that zero children occurs twice. So there are two families with zero children. The frequency, how frequent this value is, is two. How many families have one child? Well, we can see one, two, three. So the frequency is three. That's how common the value of one is. How many families have two children? We've got one, two, three, four, so the frequency is four. How many families with three children? One, two, three. How many families with four children? Well, we've got one there. And in fact, I missed this family with five children here, so I'm gonna add that now, that's okay. And I can see there's just one family with five children, so I'm gonna put a one here. And you may want to check that these frequencies add up to how many values you have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 families. Now, do these frequencies add up to 14? 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12, 13, 14. Yes, it does add up to 14.